here is the thing you need to stop controlling your circumstances i feel like sometimes uh, we're just not like we're just not getting how important it is to ignore the 3d and that's why i keep making videos about it and before you click off let me tell you this if you have been feeling like i feel so desperate this has been happening to me you even have wrote an email to a coach like it happens to me every single day even though my coaching is is sold off sold out right now like it's just every day i receive an email i am so desperate uh, can you help me with my sp i am so desperate this has happened i am so desperate and my situation is so complicated and from that and this i don't mean by no judgment to anyone but this is why i keep making this video because every single time i receive emails or messages like this and trust me guys is everywhere it's on instagram on my email on my tiktok like every single day i know that that i cannot stress this point enough where people are trying to use manifestation to control their circumstances because it's so intuitive right you just want to change something in your reality you're trying to control the circumstances you're you're affirming you're getting frustrated you're desperate we need to change this because until we are in this loop we're gonna fail or we're gonna have very inconsistent results and it's gonna be harder for us to manifest and we're not really and even when we manifest we will feel like we're not actually in control of our reality because we don't fully understand what is going on so I want to break it down for you guys in a simple and effortless way so let's get started with today's video stop control your freaking circumstances all right you guys so thank you so much for sticking around my name is Naya and on this channel I talk everything about the law of assumption manifestation is practically the entire channel and hopefully I am going to introduce more and more other esoteric topic that I did discuss previously at the beginning of my channel you can check it out if you subscribe and on patreon I do make extra videos in fact today I'm going to post on patreon a video about improving your mental diet with exercises that I'm going to give you guys very interesting every week you get a new update and a new video and on my membership YouTube membership you find the streaming to my e-courses and one monthly collective coaching as well trial so check it out everything is in the description box now let's wrap it up and get to the video all right you guys stop controlling your circumstances like every single day I usually study I usually you know I affirm in front of my mirror I don't know why like I actually know why now I always do it in the morning like we know that affirmation in the morning as Neville Goddard and other teachers have said is really really important because it starts off the day the subconscious mind is very open but then I also realized that I think I subconsciously do a lot of the study and a lot of the affirmation in the morning because that's like I'm telling my subconscious mind this is my priority like my priority is to make great content Content. my priority is to help other people my priority is to gather ideas for this videos and before my priority was to find the house or the boyfriend the fiance whatever you know so that's another thing for another video but while I was doing all of this in the morning I always think how can I help how can I help how can I help and there are millions of toxic topics even more interesting than this one that we could discuss about like esoteric topics uh, thought forms and parallel universes as we did before these are all great and interesting but I felt no I need to talk again about circumstances because I feel unless we get the basic of manifestation really laid down and again repeated and reiterated we are not getting anywhere like we could get interested about everything else in the universe or in the esoteric world and still not get our manifestation will result into unhappy people and very sad people and I don't want that I want to see you thriving I want to see you successful sorry for a bit of noise I'm outside so here is the thing 
you guys are constantly looking and you don't do this uh, on purpose like i feel it's very subconscious so again don't get me wrong but this is what you guys are doing most of the time you affirm and everything you get it you understand it but then i can see that you didn't click like your eyes are constantly going to the outside world where is my manifestation you see manifestation still as something that you're grabbing from reality like i'm grabbing the money i'm obtaining the money i'm obtaining obtaining the SP I'm obtaining this and obtaining that and even though I do like to use these terms like I did in my last video desiring is acquiring because it's very intuitive I don't mean it in a way where we are attracting I don't mean it in a way where we are actually pulling things towards us and uh, synchronistically enough while I was thinking about making this video I saw a short from Bashar that was saying the things that were so similar to what I wanted to conceive and he would say if you don't know who Bashar is. Bashar is a channeler and very interesting character in the spiritual community. He says very interesting things, so check it out if you don't know him. Anyhow, I was watching him saying how, again, people look at the outside world, they look at circumstances thinking, even about quantum jumping, that they are actually jumping into different worlds or they're jumping into a different, like, earth this is not what it's happening reality is happening all at the same time past presence and futures the quantum field the infinite possibilities are all overlapping in the system that is why someone like neville goddard has said creation is finished it is done when you're thinking about your desire you're not attracting anything you're not jumping physically to a different earth or a different dimension you are merely changing your thoughts and your thoughts will project and produce a different reality and think about this it's like having a computer you don't physically take the computer somewhere else to change the program you don't do anything at the very least you study engineering and you know how to build the program but everything happens inside the computer you upgrade the program it's the same it's like the moving the matrix so when i don't know if you have ever seen the movie if you didn't highly suggest it where they were plugged in into a you know a reality and let's say that they needed to learn how to fight so through the computer they were plugging in the program of fighting and so the characters will become pro masters at fighting for example or shooting guns or um driving hair or uh, driving no flying airplanes and things like that so now obviously this is sci-fi and it's very stretched who knows if we will be able to do that in the future but in terms of manifestation it's very very similar metaphor you are not controlling the circumstances you're not changing anything outside of yourself you just have to see this as oh the circumstance is telling me something about my thoughts about even even when sometimes you're, you are saying but I have affirmed but I've been positive and this unwanted thing has happened so that does mean I'm doing something wrong it might be something deeper it might be a belief an assumption that is deeply rooted in your subconscious reality is projecting all of that is mirroring to you who you are your essence so all this effort in trying to change the circumstance outside of yourself is merely waste energy you're literally wasting your energy the more you practice turning your head away again uh, uh, turning your head away from the world of caesar the more you practice unwanted circumstances i don't see it i don't see it i am changing i'm working within i'm working within the more you go within the more you understand the game of life strength it's not about doing more strength is about stillness is about remaining still confidence is about not being loud is about being calm staying still calm peaceful no matter the odds no matter the circumstances and rooting yourself in what is called faith this could be faith in the law faith in yourself faith in a higher force and if you really think about it the majority of our life is based on faith because you cannot control every circumstance and you cannot see further down the line unless with your expectation and imagination so use these capacities of the mind the expectations and the imagination for the positive 
positive and not for the negative. But this is what the majority of people do. They freak out, they give up, they don't persist, and they use the imagination and the faculty of expectation in a faulty, foolish way, expecting the worst, being deluded, or not practicing the law, I think, long enough. And the more you're going to get into this mindset that circumstances don't matter because you can't control them. It's not about controlling circumstances, but it's about controlling the direction of your thoughts. The less you're going to care about what is happening outside of you. I have been practicing the law for seven years. I got better and better and better each and every year. I arrived to a point in my life where I do not care what is happening around me. Like, I simply don't care. I don't even look. I don't don't even affirm specifically anymore. Not because you cannot. I mean, if I really, really need, I will, but I don't care. I know that if I'm constantly, persistently, dominantly think positively, I'm going to stay consistently in a feeling of I'm peaceful, I'm calm, my world is taking care of me, everything is wonderful, I'm provided for, everything is wonderful. I know that just by virtue of staying in the states of consciousness, everything is going to get solved. I don't need to look at any circumstance. I don't need to doubt. I don't need to get worried. My only goal, my only purpose is to practice stillness, is to practice the control of my mind, is to practice the control of my emotions. The more I do this, the stronger I get, the better manifester I get, and the faster I get whatever it is that I want. And in fact, it did happen this way because there's a shift in mindset. So I don't want to hear anymore. I'm desperate about the circumstance. My, this, my circumstance is complicated. Believe it or not, I know you want to feel that it's complicated. I know you want to feel that you're special. Everyone is special. Everyone thinks that their circumstance is complicated. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's not. It's really simple. It's, I'm sorry. I don't care what you're dealing with. It's that simple. You just have to go within. You have to change the movements of your thoughts persistently. And it doesn't matter whether you're seeing results or not. You act based on faith. Because faith is not just believing before you see, but it's the act of using imagination and holding on to a vision. You need to hold on into your vision, knowing that the vision inside of you is as real as anything else. And you need to let go of the control over the circumstances. You're not jumping anywhere. You're not moving and relocating to a new earth. All of that you want already exists. You are merely aligned and reprogramming your mind to project the right projections which will result into, oh, I feel like I've jumped into this reality. You didn't really jump. You just adjusted your thoughts. And this is why we came here on earth to understand how to play the game of life, which is nothing but control of the mind, of the body, and then alignment with the soul because the soul remembers who it is, but it challenges itself through a human body to not forget what it is and to make the mind steal so it can thrive and when i mean soul your desires come from your souls the majority of your desires if you're gonna follow if you're gonna be authentic to yourself and you're gonna follow and i talked about this also explaining the reticular system of our brain but here it is guys if you are going to be authentic to yourself and not trying to copy anyone or trying to manifest things just because other people are doing so if you're just following what has the highest value to you what you love the most your idea of success your idea of love your idea of style your idea of anything your idea of money if you're going to be genuine about this that's already alignment with your soul so whatever you're desiring you can have and the only thing you need to care is the control of thoughts not the control of circumstances i will never stop stressing this enough until we get it done we get it solidly into our mind because this is what will change oh my god a bird that just stepped into my terrace there's a message coming from someone hello that never happened, you guys. I don't want to move. Oh my god. See? See, that, that's the message you guys needed to hear. All right, you guys, so you understand what I'm saying. It's not about controlling. The universe is constantly speaking to you. Higher intelligence is constantly speaking to you. Just stay authentic to self. 
be rooted in the faith, in the imagination, and you will project the reality that you want because it's all about thought control and less about circumstances control all right you guys i hope this video made sense sorry for the noise and the interruptions here and there i hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know comment down below i'll see you also on patreon as well as on this channel so subscribe and see you very soon bye